For the past week and a half, we've focused on the beginnings of the Baptist movement in England with a quick detour to Amsterdam for the founding of the very first Baptist church. Today we move our focus across the Atlantic to the New World. As Leon Macbeth tells us in the Baptist Heritage, it was in 1639 that Roger Williams founded the first Baptist church in America in Providence, Rhode Island. There are striking similarities between Williams' story and that of John Smith, co-founder of the church in Amsterdam 30 years earlier. Though Smith and Williams both enjoy iconic status among Baptists, and rightly so, for their roles in pioneering the Baptist movement, each had once moved from Anglicanism to separatism on his way to becoming a Baptist pioneer and each, only a few months after placing his mark on Baptist history, concluded that his Baptist baptism was not a true baptism because it had not been performed by someone possessing proper baptismal authority. And he then parted ways with his Baptist friends. But long after Williams broke with Baptists, he continued to take up the cause of religious liberty for all people, for which Baptists had fought vigorously and sacrificed valiantly ever since Thomas Helwes went to prison in 1612 for challenging the king's authority over people's souls. Williams wrote his most notable defense of religious liberty in 1644, The Bloody Tenet of Persecution, and followed it with an updated version in 1652. So Baptist debt to Roger Williams, though he was one of us for only a short time, is incalculable. In tomorrow's Baptist Brief, we'll take a look at an early debate over religious liberty.